In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to track a lost or stolen Android device by using its IMAI number. This is probably the only genuine method to try and track your lost or stolen Android phone by using its IMAI number. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown, welcome to channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic, well if you're not, this is going to cheer you up. So the first thing is, if you are a person who has just misplaced your phone and you want to try and track it using its IMAI number, there is a possibility. And the second thing is, if you are a person who has lost your phone few days back and you still want to track it, that's also quite possible. What you could do is immediately get to the local police station because the local police station of your location may just have a service to track your lost or stolen phone using its IMAI number on a specialized software available to only these type of government agencies. Now that's a possibility, okay? We do not know, they are not allowed to disclose any information of how they do tracking, that's a secret service maybe, but I'm very much sure that these guys are able to track your phone using its IMEI number. Okay, because when somebody finds your phone and has no intention of giving it to you back, if, if they steal your phone, what happens is that they have to put a SIM card in or they have to get that phone registered on a specific network. So when they're getting that registered, obviously that IMA number, which is a unique number that is tied up to a device, is going to get registered to a new Google account. So when the police would track that phone, which was actually yours, they are going to get all the information tied up to the IMAI number. So that is how they could actually get to that specific location or, you know, get to that person's address and, you know, catch that person. But another catch out here is that even the police cannot get to the exact location of the phone. I'm sure, you know, they use related towers nearby to the phone and get an approximate location. What you could also do to assist in the investigation to find your phone is that you could call up your network provider and ask them to you know block your device completely and once your phone is blocked using its IMA number through your network provider if they have that ability you get to the police station back and you can ask them to get a call list of the new number that is being utilized on that phone if the thief has an intention to reuse your phone which is going to be very foolish but if they do it they're going to get caught and you're going to get your phone back this is the best and the only method to track your phone using its IMA number all these websites online on Google or services on Instagram asking you for money to you know track your phone and stuff like that is all fake these guys cannot help you okay so do not get onto these websites do not put in your personal information and stuff like that not at all recommended if you are in a country which has a specialized department like how we have in India CEIR you could directly get onto this website and you could request to block a lost or stolen device by getting onto ceir.gov.in link for which is in my description if you are from india you could you know click on that link get onto the website click on this uh, drop down and you could click on block stolen or lost mobile put in your details out there along with the fir copy as a pdf and submit this to this specific department so that they could actually block your lost or stolen phone and they could actually try and find your lost or stolen phone so so I hope this makes sense and I hope you don't get scammed by fake service providers promising you to find your phone using its IMA number for a fee. Don't do that. All right. Give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.